It's such a small box, but all good things come in small boxes, right? At the Met last year, I wore a dress by Erdem, and it was my favorite dress that I've ever worn. And Erdem came up to me and told me that he was the designer. Of course, I knew. I've never been so embarrassed and flattered in my whole life. That dress was from a spring-summer collection that I showed in the Savoy in London. It was very feminine, very light. And that collection was very much a reaction to the previous fall-winter collection. It was very, very dark and hand-painted, not a single flower in it. From that came this very light and delicate collection. I just kind of saw her in the distance. I was like, oh, you know, you look so beautiful in the dress, and who are you? <laughs> It's really rare that I'll make a wedding dress, and it's usually because they're a friend. There's a note. <laughs> Dear Flavia, I hope you have an amazing day. Excited to see photos. Enjoy with love, Artem. I adore his stuff, and I told him, let's recreate the Met dress as a wedding dress. She knew exactly what she wanted, and she marched her own drum in the sense that she chose something that was not traditional. I think she has a very individual style, also just so relaxed, and I think that's such a, an important thing. Yeah, how nice to just be able to enjoy the whole process and every part of the process. It was a light lace, which was great because I was concerned about the weather. I thought it was going to be really hot. It was long to the ground, but it had a slip that was short. So you could kind of see my legs in between the slip. Especially with the lighting of the evening, I think that it did the dress justice. It's really beautiful. It was interesting because she chose something that was like, it had this kind of formality because it was kind of quite a high neck. All kind of very beautiful white lace, but it had this wonderful kind of very open back. I think that was like a quite a lovely kind of contrast. I think as a designer, I've always been very interested in what the codes of femininity are. What are the things that make a woman feel like a woman, whether it's fit or material or a color? Do you love? I do, I love it. Number one, I think, is understanding how to create something that makes someone feel completely comfortable. It's gorgeous. She had spent time in the dress at the Met, so I think she kind of understood how it fit. She understood how she moved in it. And I think maybe that's what's so special. It wasn't about like starting from scratch or creating something that's completely bespoke. It was creating something that she knew she had um, an attachment to. 